I did this to this idea from Lex. I swear to God. Hey, what is up, guys? It's Minion. Welcome to a totally original video, never done before, ever on YouTube. Today, I'm going to be listing my least favorite to my favorite zombies map. So, number 22 will be my least favorite, number 1 will be my favorite. You know how it goes. Before I begin the video, I would just like to mention some rules. Uh, this list is going to be um, Treyarch, zombies only. I'm not going to be able to remember all the Infinite Warfare and Advanced Warfare zombies maps and all that. Also, it is opinionated. I would mention that. And I'm also going by the original. So when I say like Noct, Kino, 5. Well, not 5. It wasn't remastered. Fuck. But when I say those old maps that were remastered in Z-Scene, just know I'm, re I'm referring to the original. So if I say Noct, I'm talking about World at War. You know, Shangri-La. You know, Black Ops 1. Whatever. Anyways, let's go ahead and begin. In the number 2 spot, it is Die Rise. Now, Die Rise... I fucking hate Die Rise so much. I hate everything. I hate the elevator, the jumping jacks, the fact that I could either get, you know, Juggernog round 2, round 50. It's it's so tedious. It's just really annoying. Plus, Who's Who is the worst perk. It's the worst perk in the entire world. Still don't understand how to use it. Still don't understand the purpose behind it. But, you know, wh whatever. You, you do you. Uh, the number 21, 21 spot is Zetsubo no Shima. Now, Zetsubo no Shima, it's infamous for being the most glitchy map probably ever, but for sure at least for Black Ops 3. But even after they fixed all the glitches, there are still some of them, but after they fixed most of them, I still just don't like the map, man. I don't know. I, I don't like the colors. I don't like the setting. I The story is cool. The cutscene's phenomenal. It gives me chills still. But just everything else, I don't like the spiders, I don't like the freaking Shrek, I don't remember his name. I just don't like it, I don't know. It's it's fun, maybe, mediocre Wonder Weapon, I just don't like it, man, I don't know. Uh, number 20 is Dead Ups Arcade 1 and 2. Uh, the reason I'm combining them is because, one, they're basically the same thing, minus a little bit of story difference and the fact you can do first person in Dead Ups Arcade 2. And also because, um, if I'm being honest, I, I never played Dead Ups Arcade 2, but anyway. I don't know, man. Dead Ups Arcade uh, 2010, you know, when it first came out for Black Ops 10, I think that's when it was released. I don't fucking know. But when it came out, it was really revolutionary. It was a really good idea. It was like an arcade zombies. It was a really cool idea. They 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 uh, executed it pretty well. I don't know. I just didn't really like it. I still don't like it. It, it was a cool idea. A lot of people like it. I don't know. I, I just don't. I feel like if I got the hype around it and I played it a lot more, I'd probably like it, but, you know, just not a big fan. Number 19 is Transit. Now, I know, very weird placement. I don't know, man. I, 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 I'll, like, the entire community hates Transit. I don't hate it, but I also don't like it. Like, it's definitely, it's, okay, it's severely below average for me. I don't hate it. It's, like, above the tier where before, like, there's, like, you know, the tiers. Hate's the bottom. It's right above hate, if that makes sense. A lot of people hate it for the fog and the denizens and just everything's tedious, you need a bunch of buildables, just it's an ugly map. And I agree, but when you can get everything set up and you have like a friend or two, it actually is kind of fun, you know? I, like you, you, know, you, you, you train in like the little tunnel area with like a Pack-a-Punched pack AK-74U, Mustang and Sally. It's not a bad time. It really is not that bad of a time. But if you don't if you don't have anything set up and you're just running through the fog getting raped by denizens, then it's definitely not a lot. It's 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 trash. <laughs> uh, number eighteen, knocked deer on Toten. The OG, really low on low high. I don't know. Really low on the list. Might be a little shock. I don't know, man. World at War, knock. It's not a lot of fun. It really is not fun unless you have a lot unless you have friends to do it with and you like camp up in that little like corner up on like the top level. And the thing about Noct, I can't hate it for not being fun and replayable because it was the first ever map. It was bare bones. They didn't know really what to do, so I'll give them some slack there. But just, it takes like 10 minutes to get to round 7 because the zombies, they stumble really, really slow to get to the, you know, like the spawn room. It's just really annoying. You gotta wait like 20 minutes to get to round 10. And then like the, the, the rounds just go, Nyum. and if you don't, like I said, if you don't have friends, it's not going to be fun. Really repetitive, really boring, just not, it's not my cup of tea. You either love it or you hate it. I, I hate it. I don't know. <laughs> uh, number 17 is Verruckt. Now, Verruckt, really tight spaces, really tight corners. Not the best map, not the worst, don't get me wrong. Really cool idea. You're in some German mental asylum in Berlin. That sounds awesome. And it's it's an alright map. It's really cool how you spawn in. Like, you know, one team's on one side, the other team's or half the team's on one side, half the team's on the other. It's a really cool idea. I just don't like the map. It's too tight. 
That's what he said. But <laughs> but don't worry, just it's just too tight for me. I don't know. It's just not my cup of tea. Like knocked, not bad, not good. That's, that's just it. And then number sixteen is Shinonuma. Uh, same thing there, really. Not my cup of tea. Uh, Shinonuma. It's like for me, it's too compact. It's in like. It's too compacted. It's not tight. It's just really, really compacted. It's like claustrophobic, kind of, if that makes sense. Uh, it, it's maybe just a me thing. And, like, the swamp. It's basically the Origins mud before Origins was a thing. It's even worse, really. It slows you down way too much. You only got stamina up in World War in World at War, so you can't really do anything if you get stuck in the swamp. You just gotta let the zombies come and eat your ass, and then, you know, you gotta, you, you, that's it. Because <laughs> the Quick Revive didn't work then, either. But... Yeah, that's basically all the World at War maps, you know, well, no, it's not up to you, but, yeah. <laughs> Shinonuma, not my thing, not a good map, not a bad map, map whatever. Uh, number 15, this is probably going to be really shocking to a lot of you, it's Derizen Drac. I, I don't know, man, Derizen Drac, really cool story, like, behind the wolf bow, just in general. I just don't know, man, it really isn't my thing. Like, when it first came out, I didn't really get the hype, I was like, oh, bro, this looks really good, and when I played it, I just didn't really get the hype. I don't know, man. Like, maybe if I was better at it, then I'd probably enjoy it a lot more. Maybe if I was there when it was released and I played it a lot when it was released, I'd like it a lot more. I just don't know, man. Everyone says it's, like, the best Black Ops 3 map, but I I don't know. I don't really play it at all. I don't really like it, so I don't know. I guess it's, I guess it's a hit or miss, and it just went straight over my head. Like, new, I don't know. Number 14, it's Moon. I'm trying to get back into Moon. Um, I didn't really play it at all in Black Ops 1. And I probably should have, because I feel like the Black Ops 1 version is a lot better than the Black Ops 3 version, but I don't know, man. It just really wasn't really my thing. Now, I'll give Moon credit when it's due. Moon is incredibly innovative. You spawn in a different map. Like, the, you know, the biodome is it's amazing. The Easter egg is so good. You literally blow up the earth in the Easter egg. It has an amazing Easter egg, a lot of good mechanics, but also has a lot of bad mechanics, like the fucking astronaut. Bro, legit, when you pop a Perkaholic on ZC, and that little shit takes your jug, so you have to go back to No Man's Land twice to get it, it's just, it's so annoying. And the, uh, you know, the launch pads and the biodome, whatever they're called, if you ain't got jug, then you're dead. If you ain't got friends to play with it, then you're dead. You gotta run it all back again and... It has a lot of good things, but I feel like it has more bad than good, and that, that that's just my opinion. And number 13, I have Kino Deer Toe. And Kino, it's a classic. It's the first map I ever really played in Zombies. I want to say, maybe Nox, but I'm, I'm pretty positive that Kino was my first ever map that I played extensively, at least. And the thing is about Kino, I've played it so much. I've played it so goddamn much that it, it genuinely, physically pains me to play it again. Like, have you ever done something so much that it pains you to do it again? That's how Kino is for me, and I feel like a lot of people can relate to that with, um, with Shadows. Because that was, like, you know, the only map that people really played. Because if you didn't pre-order the game, that's the only map you got, you didn't get the Giant. So people, a lot of people have played Shadows, and I feel like that's the way a lot of people are now with it. Like, it's just painful to play it again. That's how I am with Kino. Uh, but yeah, uh, number 12, it's Nuketown. Nuketown, I feel like Nuketown is a map that's good for the beginners, and it's good for the experts. Because if you're a beginner... You don't really know how to train. You've only played the map, or not the map, but the game for, you know, a couple hours. Like, you just got the game. N Nuketown's a good map to go on, because if you're new, it'll teach you, the like, the basics and the fundamentals. Like, you know, when and, like, what perks to get, how to train. There aren't really any camping spots, I don't think, but it'll teach you how to train, which is a lot more viable in a majority of maps than, you know, camping. Um, it's just, it's just a map that if you're new, you'll learn some skills, and if you're good, then you'll just test your skills, and it's a good map all around, it's really unique, um, it's basically just a copy of, well, that is what it is, it's a copy of a multiplayer map, but I feel like they, they executed it well, they executed it really, really well, so, there's that. Now, number 11, it's Shangri-La, man. Best, oh my god, best, hands down, best wonder weapon ever. I want to say it is statistically the most powerful wonder weapon, don't at me, but I want to say it is, I mean technically it does zero damage and it just makes them all really small, but I want to say it's like an insta-kill, when you punt them, like when you kick them, you know, what I'm, you know what I mean? And just, it's a sexy gun, like sexy map, it was so good looking when it came out in like 2011 or 2010, whenever that map was released, it looked so good, it has a good easter egg, not a big fan of eclipse mode. I just don't, I don't know, man. it's a good map, I'm trying to get back into it, I like it, comes in at number 11. Number 10 is 5, now 5, oh my, I, 
I used to hate five, bro. I was a five hater. The only black, the only Black Ops One maps I liked were Ascension and Kino. But I, 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 um, I like looked up tutorials on how to be good at five. I started playing five a lot more. I got used to how tight it was, and I started liking it, man. The only complaint I really have is, you know, the Pentagon Thief, but once you know how to counter him, he's really easy to counter. Just, like, freeze him with the Winter's Howl, then, you know, just d d unload on him with Mustang and Sally. Plus, might I add the cast? You got JFK, McNamara, uh, what's his name? The, the, the Bulldog President, and you got my boy Fidel Castro. Viva la Revolucion! Amazing cast, amazing map. I just love it, man. It's, it's a hit or miss. It's an occult classic. I love it. Uh, number 9, Call of the Dead. In my opinion, the most underrated map ever, bro. Call of the Dead, so good. Uh, an amazing cast again. Black Ops 1 had some of the best casts, in my opinion. You got Robert England. You got Michael Rooker, Danny Trejo, Sarah McSomething. I don't remember her last name. Please don't sue me. I'm not sexist. I just don't, I just don't remember her name. Uh, George Romero. Rest in peace, my boy. He was in that map. Yeah, he was really annoying, but... I don't know, man. I, it's, it wasn't game-breaking. <clears throat> it wasn't game-breakingly annoying, but it's still pretty. He's still pretty annoying. But I'll give him a pass. I'll give him a pass. Rest in peace, my boy. Um, coming in at number eight, it's Darice, of course, the classic, the OG, the iconic map, Darice. Such a good map. A lot of people don't really like it because they had to play that map from World at War to Black Ops One. They had to, that was like the only map they really played. It was like the origins of its time, and I can understand that. Um, I haven't really got to that point yet. I've been replaying it a lot as, you know, the giant. I'm not a big fan of the World at War version. You know, that's what I'm basing it off of, but I'll give it a pass, because it's still a lot of fun, bro. The Catwalk with Friends, PPSH, Wonder Buff. Oh, it's, it's, you can't beat that. It's literally a classic. You cannot beat Catwalk with Friends. Ever. Like, no. Like, you, you just can't stop. You, you just can't. Uh, number seven, it's Gorod Krovy. Now, Gorod Krovy, mm. First off, based on Nikolai, one of my favorite, if not my favorite, um, you know, OG crew member. Um, amazing Easter egg, amazing boss fight, amazing cutscene, bro. That cutscene, it hits me, bro. It hits me deep. It just, oh, it's so emotional. It really, it gives me, ch I'm, just, I'm getting chills right now thinking about it. That also might be the fact that my fan's on, and it's cold as fuck, but, you know. <laughs> but, just amazing Easter egg, amazing cutscene. They added the time challenges, they added really, really good... Like, you know, Gobble Gums. Such a good map. Um, I don't, it would be a lot higher, but I just don't really find it that replayable. I don't know. I can't really play it a lot, but I, I love the map, bro. It was so hype when it came out. Just, it's not super replayable. If I could play it, like, every single day, it'd probably be number one or number two, honestly. But it, it comes in at number seven. Number six, it's Revelations. I, I know you might hate me for putting Revelations above Garod, but Revelations, when it first came out... I didn't really like it. I don't know what it was. I just didn't really enjoy it as much as I thought it would. You know, everyone was asking for a map that had all the, like, the classic maps combined, and that's what we got, and it just, I don't know, it just kind of fell flat for the majority of the community, and a lot of people still don't like it, but it definitely grew on me a lot. Um, it's a lot of fun now. Whenever I want to, like, dick around, if I'm not feeling the giant, I just go on Revelations. A lot of fan service. It's a lot of fun. Not necessarily a serious map, but it's definitely a lot of fun. I feel like it was a good, you know, sign-off for the OG crew. Uh, we might be seeing them again, Black Ops 4. Hope not, but, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, and number 5. This is gonna be crazy. It's Buried. It's Buried, baby. Buried is, like, the most low-key map ever, in my opinion. Like, Black Ops 2, no one says, oh, I love Buried. Like, everyone says Origins when it comes to Black Ops 2, but Buried, it's so low-key, bro. It's such a good map. We got, it's really innovative, too. Because it was kind of like Moon, not Moon, well, it's kind of like Moon, you spawn in in a different area and then you can go back, you know, you spawn in up on like the little platform and you can go back there. It had an LMG, in the uh, the spawn, you could have an LMG by round 2 if you know what, if you knew what you were doing. It had Leroy, you had the Paralyzer, Regan Mark II, free perks, just such a good map, such a low-key map. Definitely underrated, definitely deserves more love and attention, and it comes in at the number 5 spot. Now, number 4, it's Shadows of Evil, baby. It's a, oh, it's Shadows of Evil. It's a masterpiece. It was, it was really, despite the you know the skill gap, I feel like it was an amazing way to begin Black Ops 3. It was such a good map. So many, so many little details and just so much innovation was in that map that it really set down like a standard for the rest of Black Ops 3. That I feel like the rest of the maps didn't really meet, other than of course like Garad and maybe the Rising Drac. Uh, but I feel like since Shadows of Evil was such a high like had such a high standard, 
it made all the other maps look bad in comparison. And I know, yeah, it got repetitive when you had to replay it for like four months until the Rising Draka came out. But, bro, like, it's such a good map. Despite the fact that if you're a beginner at Zombies, you should not be playing Shadows of Evil as your first map. It's still so good for, like, you know, the, the, the higher skill players. I don't, I'm not trying to say I'm a high skill player. That makes me sound cocky, but if you know what you're doing, then it's, it's a really fun map to go back and replay. It's kind of like how it was for Kino, though, to where, like, it kind of pains me to play it. But I still love it, bro. It still has a very, like, deep place in my heart. <laughs> now, number three. It's Origins, baby. Every, every, everyone loves Origins, man. Uh, the thing about Origins, the, reasons, the reason it's not higher on the list is because... I don't know, man. It just... It, I played it so much. It was just shoved in my throat on, like, YouTube. Everyone played it for, like, two years. Understandably so. It was an amazing map with an amazing Easter egg. It, it's, it's a good map. It's just... I've seen it so much that... It's, I kind of know everything about it, so it's kind of like, eh, I don't know, like, you know, I, I don't know. It's a, it's a great map, don't get me wrong, amazing Easter egg, so much fun to play, but I've just, I've just seen it so much, bro. I don't know. Uh, number two, probably no surprise to anybody, it's Ascension, bro. So much nostalgia, so, so many good memories with that map, bro. Training with, like, the awful lot in my pack-a-punch on, like, Black Ops 1 until 4 in the morning, just playing that with my friend Justin, my friend Marky, just... So many good memories on that map. Yeah, people don't really like it because it's you know it's overrated, sure, overhyped. Yeah, uh, easy. Yeah, but I don't know, man. I just have a lot of good memories with it. So much, so much fun replaying it. I guess don't play it every day, really. So much fun. Now, number one, it's Mob of the Dead, man. Mob of the Dead, hands down, in my opinion, best Call of Duty Zombies map ever. Origins. So good, definitely neck and neck with Mob, but I feel like Mob is just a little bit better, in my opinion. It's like a movie in a map. It has an amazing cast, an amazing setting. You're literally on Alcatraz, then you're on the, you know, the, the Golden Gate Bridge, then you're back at Alcatraz. Such a good map, such a good story. I love how they implemented, you know, Richthofen in there, and Maxis, and just all, like, so many connections. It was the first ever map in an alternate universe. It was just, and, and I feel like it's the map that really I. It's the first map that I ever really got good on. It's really the map that made me good at zombies. Now, I'm not saying I'm great at zombies. I'm not, by any means. But I feel like what made me get my skill, quote, my, the skill I have. I'm not trying to say I'm really skilled, but the skill I do have. I feel like it originated from when I used to play Mob of the Dead all the time. Because that's the map that really got me in, interested in getting all the buildables and doing all the little Easter eggs. And putting one and one together and making two and just going from point A to B and doing all these little easter egg steps and I just love it man Mob of the Dead it's a classic so much nostalgia such a great map I love it so much I, Origins I'll be honest it's overrated Mob of the Dead underrated I, I don't know man if you love Origins understandable if you love Mob of the Dead very understandable just a great map but yeah hope you guys did enjoy this uh, list I will I'll, I'll be honest I did I, I stole the idea from Mr. Tlexify not gonna lie don't at me in between, you didn't hear it from me, but I'll leave a link to his video in the description if you have not seen it yet. That's where I got the inspiration for this video. I know it's a really random video. No one really cares about zombies right now, but um, I don't know. I just want—I just really want to make a video, putting my opinion on it. I was inspired by his video, so I was like, you know what? I may as well do my own video. So, hope you guys did enjoy. If you'd like to see more zombies content like this, or just more zombies content in general, do be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe if you're new to the channel. It'd mean a lot to me, and I'll see all you guys in the next video. Peace.